You can see me in the background in the computer there. <laughs> okay, God just sent me another message. Wow. Let me let me find out what's going on here. This is crazy. I gotta shut this off. Okay, let's come over here. So this is what God does. He sends me these supernatural messages where he takes over my computer. Did you hear that? He literally, I said computer there, and he didn't get the whole word, but pewter there, pewter there, pewter there, like about 12 times, and no noise when that was said, okay? And I believe when God really wants to send me a message of, hey, I don't want you doing something, he cranks up the volume and makes this really loud noise on the computer. But uh, that didn't happen. It was a very light uh, noise after it said computer there, computer there. It was really saying computer there, computer there, computer there. Because basically I was just talking about how God just shut my computer off during the making of this very video that you're going to see in just a moment. Uh, but this is extraordinary what is happening in my life. This is happening on a very regular basis, daily, sometimes two, three, four times in a day where God sends me a message. And again, it's at precise moments where it has an impact because it has relevance to what just was said on the screen. We're going to keep ourselves pure before each other and before. We're going to keep ourselves pure before each other and before. We're going to keep ourselves pure before each other and before. Okay, he just said that we're going to keep ourselves pure before each other and God. Now, this is a very timely message because God sent me something very similar, supernatural. Uh, and for all of you that, uh, you know, think this is not supernatural, I want you to know that earlier this year, I uh, had a, a, a woman 10 years younger than myself come into my life, beautiful woman. And, you know, as usual, uh, most Americans are going to, you know, get into a relationship. That's what happened. Uh, but again, she was pursuing me, not the other way around. And what ended up happening, we got into a, a relationship together. And guess what? We started sinning, as you can imagine. Uh, God was not happy about that. And so for two months this year, for two months, God did not send one message to me on my computer. He did not shut my computer down for two months. So for those of you who think this is just a glitch in my computer, how does it not do that for two months, especially right after I get into a relationship with a woman where I started to commit sins of the flesh with? So I want to share this message that Gabe was talking about here so you can get the full message of what he was saying here. It says in verse 9, Do you not know that the unrighteous shall not inherit God's kingdom? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, Hold on. nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunks, nor revilers or extortioners shall not inherit God's kingdom. To your first question, it says no drunk. So when you take a, a hit of weed, that's immediate intoxication. I used to smoke, I know. And the Bible says to be sober, be vigilant. So when you smoke weed, you're not sober, you're not vigilant, you're high. And you cannot be high and enter into heaven. Uh, fornicator is um, premarital sex. When you're having sex outside of marriage, okay? The Bible says, marriage is honorable unto the Lord and the bed is undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. The Bible says, all sin is outside the body. But he that fornicates sins against his own body. That's a very dirty type of sin before God. And that's why he created marriage. For two to become one. 
And that's what we got to do. We got to realize God's laws. And if we're in a relationship, we have to make sure our significant other understands that we're not going to go down that road until we get married. We're going to keep ourselves pure before each other and before God. Okay, God just sent me a supernatural message while I was watching the replay on what Gabe just said in this last part here. When it got to the section about smoking weed, where he talks about, you know, be sober, be vigilant. Uh, and, you know, when you smoke uh, pot, you're high. You get high. You're high. And God literally froze the computer, and then he shut the screen off, and then it, you could hear the words high, 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 repeated over and over again. That's supernatural, okay? So I'm going to play the part where Gabe, just before he says that, and then I will play what I captured on camera right after that. It says no drunk. So when you take a, a hit of weed, that's immediate intoxication. I used to smoke, I know. And the Bible says to be sober, be vigilant. So when you smoke weed, you're not sober, you're not vigilant, you're high. high, 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 high. Okay, wow. I was just watching Gabe, the preacher, and God just sent me a message that when you smoke weed, you're high, you're high, you're high, you're high. Wow, I don't know if you caught everything that just happened there. When God froze the computer there and then supernaturally re-edited the computer in real time while I was listening to it so it said hi 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 what God was trying to say there there was no noise in the background he was just repeating the words uh, hi 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 so that we would know that yes what Gabe just said there is that when you get high on pot it's just like you know getting drunk on alcohol and he doesn't want you to do that. So right after he finished the last time where it said hi, 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 on the last time where it said hi, then God supernaturally made the noise happen on the computer as if to say, hey, I don't want you living like that. I don't want you smoking pot because it's just like getting drunk on alcohol. Listen again. Okay, wow. I was just watching Gabe, the preacher, and God just sent me a message that when you smoke weed, you're high, you're high, you're high, you're high. Okay, God is just confirming this, I believe. You can hardly hear that, but literally he's confirming that this is something that I believe he wants us to do. Otherwise, he would not go against his own word of God. This is Exodus 20, 8 through 11. So he's just confirming, yes, this is something that I want people to keep. I want people to keep the Sabbath. So again, this is just one more confirmation, and the Holy Spirit's all over me again. So let me shut this off. I'm going to have to reboot the computer, so you can't see this behind there, but I'll unplug it right now. There we go. All right, so that's proof, Lord. Thank you very much. Okay, I want to establish something so that everybody knows. Every time God freezes my computer, he's sending a warning. And it doesn't matter if there's no noise or if there's some noise. But when you hear noise in the background, uh, if it's just a little bit of noise, it's just kind of like a gentle warning. If there is a loud noise, that in a real loud kind of noise, that is a definite warning. Like, I don't want you watching that, okay? So here's the thing. When he sends me these warnings, I have to decipher, and, and I believe the Holy Spirit is guiding me to figure out what the message is. And when there's no noise, God is sometimes agreeing with what was said on the, the screen or what was said in the actual video, or he's just sending a warning. Or no noise can also mean that God wants me to do something or share something. All right, now I've deciphered this after literally, you know, hundreds of encounters that I've had like this. And after each one, I'm trying to figure out what is he trying to say to me here? What is he trying to send me here? And that's when I started to, you know, put things in categories and start to decipher what's really going on. So this is what I've discovered over the last four years. So in this particular video clip here, this was God's warning to everyone else because he already knows I keep the Sabbath. He wants all of you to keep the Sabbath because it could mean the difference between going to heaven or not. All right, so it's very important that I share this with you, and God wanted me to share this with you. Otherwise, he would not have gone to all the trouble to literally freeze my computer. This is like the fifth time 
during the making of this one video he's literally sent me five messages so I want everyone to know keep the Sabbath holy it's a day of rest you can rest you can sleep during the day you can do whatever you want but when you're doing your normal thing on the Sabbath don't take phone calls and talk about things worldly things keep it holy read the Bible keep things on a holy level that's it Okay, God just shut my computer off to send me another message. Now, he hasn't sent me a message since yesterday. But again, he does this at very precise moments. Now, right after I finished recording the part about, uh, I was talking about my ex-girlfriend that I had this year and how God hadn't talked to me for two months. He literally did not shut my computer down, not one time for two months. For all of you skeptics who think this happens just all the time, it doesn't. For two months this year, it did not happen. And right after I recorded that section, God literally shut my computer down. I started typing in no noise on there, and he literally shut the computer down, and there was no noise uh, when he shut me down. Again, just like on this video port, there was no noise in that part where Gabe is right there. There was no noise, but his audio kept playing. While you can see me in the background in the computer there, his audio was still playing a few more words. So I want you to know this is very real and God did not send my computer any kind of messages for over two months earlier this year. And then all of a sudden the last three months I've gotten well over 110 messages. So I want you all to be aware of something. God has been helping me make videos now for four years. Four years ago he edited one of my videos. Not the whole thing but just a one little tiny section of it. And I put it into a video and 50,000 people saw it. It was the one on Giants that I did, uh, I think, back in like uh, 2017. Anyways, I want you to know when God can make words repeat over and over and over and over and over again, okay, that is not normal, okay? When you watch YouTube videos, there never is computer glitches where it repeats a word over and over and over and over again. That just doesn't happen. It would have to back up and then repeat it again, back up and repeat the words again. That doesn't happen, okay? This is supernatural. And so I want you to, to be aware of this. And also, when the words are repeated, usually there is no noise going on. So he's trying to send me a message, okay? And this is very clear that God is working in my life right now, sharing messages with me, warning me about certain things, teaching me what to do, teaching me what not to do. So this has been going on again for four years. In actuality, you know, eight years, because eight years ago is when I got healed by God. I asked God to heal me and instantly he healed my entire body. And over the next uh, two years, I lost 140 pounds. And I was completely healed and have never been sick ever since in the last eight years. So I want you to listen to the words again so that you can understand this is supernatural what you're about to hear. All right, so I want to have uh, one last little discussion with you here because I want to share why God is doing this. God has been showing me this for four years now, freezing my computer, shutting my computer down uh, with a lot of noise behind it to let me know, hey, Randy, don't watch that. Hey, Randy, don't listen to that. Hey, Randy, don't listen to that preacher. I believe he's a false preacher. So the bottom line is God has been doing this to chasten me, to get me to become a much better Christian. And everybody is supposed to have this happening in their life. Uh, fortunately for myself, this has been happening for four years. So I have learned so much over the last four years. What you just heard from Gabe there, where he was talking about all the sins, you know, if you're still lying, you're still fornicating, you're committing adultery. Um, if you are doing these things, you need to stop doing them because God is coming back very soon. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord, okay, he is coming to rapture those of us who are his true Christians and he's not going to come for the once saved always saved sorry you guys are lost you will have to go through the tribulation and that's just a fact and if you don't know that it's because you're not listening to the scripture Jesus said if you love me keep my commandments he has ten commandments if you're breaking one of those commandments God says you've broken all of the commandments so even if you just lied okay God says you committed murder, you committed fornication, you committed adultery, okay? You've done other things. That's what he is saying. You're guilty of all the sins, okay? So 
You don't want to keep doing that. That's why God has been doing this in my life. He's been trying to get me to stop sinning, to stop watching false uh, preachers and false teachers and go after what is holy and be holy because God wants you to be holy. All right. So that is the, the biggest warning that I can give you. He's done this over and over and over and over, literally over a hundred times where he's literally trying to tell me, Randy, don't watch this. Randy, don't watch that. Randy, don't do this. And he does it in a supernatural way with my computer, with televisions, with my camera. So this is very real. And for those of you who are skeptical, I feel very sorry for you that you can't see truth right in front of your face. So the second warning that I want to give to you is what is on the screen right now. Remember to keep the Sabbath holy from Friday at sunset to Saturday at sunset. During that 24 hour time period, God wants you to be holy. What does that mean? That means read the Bible. That means go to church if you can find a church a Christian church because 95% of the churches probably do it on Sunday okay that's not God's day okay they call it the Lord's day and I gotta tell you they ruffled my feathers this morning because I saw one of these lying oh, I saw someone who was trying to to convince Christians that Sunday is the Lord's day and here's the proof and their proof was so weak and they said hey we have strong proof I'm gonna have to make another video to show you guys I'm gonna show you with scripture I'm gonna show you so many scriptures from the Bible that prove absolutely without a doubt that Saturday is God's holy day it's the only holy day of the week not Sunday if you go to church on Sunday you are worshiping on the Sun worshiping day and guess who worships the Sun Satan okay so the bottom line is God showed me in a very supernatural way. I had kept the Sabbath for uh, almost four years when this happened. But yeah, I started going to church on a Sunday. I, uh, you know, trying to please a pastor. Okay. And what happened? After about five times of going to church on Sunday, God sent me a supernatural message that I will never forget. Okay. I'm driving to church on Sunday. And the Holy Spirit is all over me right now. Okay, it is so awesome. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The bottom line is I'm driving to church on Sunday and God literally cut my windshield in half as I'm looking down the road through the front windshield. He cut my windshield in half. Why did he do that? To send me a very clear message. Randy, stop going to church on Sunday. Okay, that's Satan's day. Okay, even though you think you're worshiping Jesus on that day, you think you're worshiping our Lord Jesus Christ, you're not. You go to church on Sunday, you are showing God who you worship because God wrote it down in stone, all right? He wrote it down in stone. It's the fourth commandment. And it just so happens it's the only commandment out of 10 commandments that God started off with, remember, okay? So that's why I put that up in the top there on the screen there so that you remember because six days you shall labor and do all of your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. All right. So if you want to be sanctified, you have to do it on Saturday. So all Saturday, even if you can't find a church, because it's hard to find a church. I don't go to church even on Saturday. But what I do do is I spend the entire day for 24 hours. And all I do is read the Bible, watch, if I watch any kind of videos, there are videos about God, okay? If I get online, usually I'll try and listen to a Bible, um, someone who's reading the Bible online, that is one of the best things to do, is listen to the Bible, okay? So there are a lot of people, Andrew Scorby, I've told you about this, listen to things that are holy and you will be holy on that day. But if you do it on Sunday, you are following deceivers. And I'm going to absolutely prove this to you. I will make a video that absolutely blows all of these deceivers and false teachers out of the water about the Sabbath. It's not on Sunday. The Lord's Day on Sunday is BS. It's not true. And I want you to know that because God has shown me this over and over and over. So I want to leave it with this. 
you have to understand that if you want to go to heaven right now if if god comes today and raptures his true believers his people who are sanctified because they keep the sabbath when you keep the sabbath on saturday god sanctifies you all right so that means you are in his good graces you do it on sunday and you are not in his good graces all right so i want this to be a message that really hits home you have to start keeping the sabbath keep the sabbath holy on saturday starting at friday at sunset to saturday at sunset it's that simple and if you will just do that one thing you let god know who you absolutely believe in who you truly worship because that's god's true day he wrote it down in stone and before he ever wrote it down in stone on the seventh day of creation he hallowed that day he said this is my holy day and he sanctified that day and he will sanctify you if you keep it but if you don't keep the sabbath holy i feel sorry for you because you might have to go through tribulation i don't know this for sure but can you imagine if because you wouldn't do that one thing you literally had to go through seven years of tribulation is that what you want to look at god said he wants you spotless now does that mean that every sin has to be covered if you keep the sabbath holy i guarantee you god is going to have mercy on you if you don't keep that day he probably will not have very much mercy with people who are completely not listening to what he wrote in the ten commandments so I don't want to, you know, uh, go on too much more about this, but I just wanted to share this with you because God has shown me over and over and over to keep the Sabbath and to not go to church on Sunday. So if I were you, I would never go back to church. I don't care how many friends, I don't care how much you like the preacher. Stop going on Sunday. Don't go this Sunday. Instead, on Friday in the afternoon when the sun goes down over the mountain, that's when you start keeping a holy presence in your life. Read the Bible and do holy things and do not do worldly things don't watch movies uh, that are secular movies on that day don't go watch TV on that day turn the television off if you watch anything watch things that are holy to watch people who are truly of God so I hope you uh, got the message <laughs> I think you did <laughs> so those are just two of the warnings that God's given me I have others that I want to share with you so be you know be forewarned there's going to be some more coming and i'm going to share with you the truth and it's going to be biblical truth that you can look it up in the bible all right so i want to thank everyone for watching i love all of you god bless every single one of you who are listening to my videos here on youtube and on bit i want to thank you for listening have an awesome day